440 on your hometown station, KHTS, and one of my favorites is back in the booth. Q Reed, Center Director of Mathnasium of Canyon Country. Q, how are you? Good Hi, to see you. I'm great. It's been too long. Mm. I think the flu wave hit you guys it last did. time. It did. It's been going around. I know. I it know. It really has. It's awful. Have I you know. seen a decrease in the amount of people going to Mathnasium because of the yes, flu? I really have. And then they come back and I'm like, where were you? And they said, we were sick. You so. think that they're just making excuses? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Well, Mathnasium, if you don't know, tried and true for over 15 years, trusted by over half a million parents around the nation, and growing by the day. So I desperately needed Mathnasium when I was a kid. I mean, I almost failed pre-algebra enriched. Enriched, Q. Aww. But pre-algebra enriched, I was a mess. Sorry, you know, it was my first year at Placerita, new school. There were attractive girls in the class that, you know, I didn't want to ask questions in front of. I didn't want to be embarrassed. And I was a mess. I was, I was hiding progress reports. I know. I know. It was bad. I needed mathnasium. You did. I felt like I was drowning, and my rescue boat was just passing me by in the, in the night. Yeah. And you can speak to it better than I can. You're the expert here. Mm -hmm. I think one of the main reasons that kids struggle with math is because they don't want to talk out in class, especially I, during their formative years. I agree. I agree. I think that it starts, you know, in fourth, fifth grade. Really? And that then young? It does start that young now where they get really embarrassed to raise their hand. And then the middle schoolers have a really, really tough time. They don't want to ask the questions. They don't want to feel like, you know, they're, they don't know what the rest of the class knows. So that's why it's such a wonderful place at Mathnasium because we have a really safe environment for the kids to ask any question. They can even ask the same question over and over, and we're still going to say, that's okay. Right. So. What's the earliest grade? Because I feel like it's, with math especially, it's better to nip it in the bud and get you back up to speed and even really progress you past the, the point that your class is at. Right. Right. Um, well, we do have all the way, you know, the earliest being kindergarten. Uh, we have some second graders because it really starts getting tough for them in second grade. But I did see two, sec two uh, kindergartners this morning and I thought, oh my gosh, that's really fun to start it that early. That would be amazing. But second third grade it starts getting really difficult for them and it actually does go really fast so if you don't nip it in the bud you know third grade fourth grade then they get to fifth grade and sixth grade and they're really struggling to keep up right what kind of math are they learning in kindergarten oh, is it it's just just you know it's we we at mathnasium do something called numerical fluency which really helps them to understand numbers and the order of numbers and addition and subtraction and learning how to use your tens to help you and give you sort of a trick here and a trick there and I have a little tool bag. Some basic building blocks. Yeah. And what I loved the last time you were here and I hadn't known this previous is Mathnasium it's a monthly fee. It's like a Netflix. Yeah. It's it like is. you pay one monthly fee and you can go over and over as many times as you want. Yes and if you really take advantage of it it's great for the student and it's great for the parent. Right. So it's a win-win. How many tutors are on staff right now at Mathnasium? Uh, we have seven tutors now. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. Yeah. Is that enough to meet the to meet the need? Yeah. Really? For now it is. I mean, hopefully I, I'll need a lot more. Right. I would like to, you know, get more students in there. Right, exactly. So what do you look for? And mm -hmm. uh, we're talking with Q Reed, Center Director, Executive Director of Mathnasium in Canyon Country, which just opened their door a couple months ago, right? No. A uh, year? August. August. So not a year yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was close. Yeah, you are close. So what do you look for? In a tutor? Uh, in, in these tutors that you bring onto the team. Well, first they have to take a math test, right. and that they have to pass that with flying colors, number one. But the thing I really look for is how they work with the kids. So I make sure before I even hire them that they can be on the floor and I can see how they interact because my, my big thing is that I want the kids to feel safe, just like we were talking about. I want them to be able to raise their hand and not feel like they can't. So it's very important to me that they know how to work with kids and you know, older kids. So. Right, because my brother... Uh, yeah. My brother's a genius, absolute genius. He's a rocket scientist, a literal rocket scientist. Wow. He's the oldest sibling in our family. He was a math tutor. And I feel that people that have siblings, especially younger siblings, make the best tutors they, because they, they can make tutors. that connection. I agree. So, Q, we had Rahit, the yeah. stellar star tutor yeah. in the studio last time. He was under the microscope. Yep. You've turned the tables on me this time. I was expecting a tutor. No. But you've brought in a stellar pupil. Who do I we have, have today? This is Kendall.
Kendall, Kendall, yeah. introduce yourself. I'm Kendall Lesher. Hi, Kendall. What grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. Really? Where do you go to school? Trinity Classical Academy. Okay. And what, what level of math are you taking right I'm now? I'm taking algebra on the advanced course. Oh, you're, wow, you're very <laughs> smart, then. I remember in eighth grade, I was still kind of struggling with pre-algebra and rich. So were you struggling with math before you uh, yeah. were taken to mathnasium? Definitely. Really? And what about Mathnasium helped you out? Was it the tutors specifically? De yeah, the tutors are very nice people. I love them. Yeah, and then so, yeah, I just needed really help with math because I was struggling with the different variables because I kept forgetting to do the basic stuff, and they, like, really helped me to uh, do the basic stuff and get me on that path. And Kendall brought in cupcakes today, which is very nice. Yay! Extremely nice. <laughs> uh, Kendall, tell me this. So, um... You're, you're, you're going to school. You're at Mathnasium. You're obviously ahead of, the, ahead of the curve here. Are you planning on being a Mathnasium tutor when the time comes? Probably. Ah, really? I love it. There we go. Yes. So Creating where, future tutors. Right, exactly. You know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Putting people ahead of the curve. So, um, you know, I was planning on talking to a tutor, asking him about college. Uh, you, you haven't made college plans yet, no. Kendall, right? Where are you going to be going to high school? Uh, same school. It's a private school, K through 12. Oh, nice. Very cool. Are a lot of students in your grade and at your school going to Mathnasium as well? No, I'm the only one from my grade, but there is a freshman. Her name's Daniela, so she goes to Mathnasium as well. Really? And do you find that when you go back to school that you're kind of ahead of the curve, that you kind of know a little bit more than students? Kind of. I mostly work on homework, and they help me with that, too. Oh, you can work at. Oh, you can work yeah, at homework. Definitely, yeah. you bring your homework in, and our tutors are able to really help you and really explain these concepts, so that when you get back to class, you really understand them. And it's got to be the one-on-one -on -one tutoring, right? Yeah. That really helps because you can get lost in the sauce in a classroom. <laughs> you know, there's yeah. one teacher, there's 40 right. kids. Yeah. And that's something too. Yes. The class sizes are increasing year by year. They are. I mean, when I was a freshman, it was like 30 kids. By the time I was a senior, just four years, it was close to 40 kids in the class. I know. And that's tough. No, and the teachers work as hard as they can to, to reach every student. But like you said, it's not always easy to raise your hand when something isn't clicking. Right, and especially with math. I mean, you yeah. can't just learn it by yourself at night mm -hmm. by digging into the textbook. You have you to really have somebody can't. that is there with you. You really do. I mean, I don't know. What do you think, Kendall? Is it easier to have a real person explaining yeah, it to you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because I think some people try to figure it all out online, which can work for some people. But I think what really works about Mathnasium is having a person really explain it to you, really help you to understand the concept so that you can move on and know what you're doing. Kendall, what movies do you watch? What are you into these days? What are kids in eighth grade into? <laughs> just different stuff, I guess. Yeah? yeah I just... Nobody's on Facebook anymore, right? No. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram is the app. Yeah, I ditched I ditched my Facebook like six, seven years ago. It's healthy. Yeah. 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 Anyway, Mathnasium, non sequitur. <laughs> Mathnasium has recently opened its doors back in August on Golden Valley Road. Yes, Golden What's Valley. What's the cross seat or cross well, we're right up there in the Target Plaza. We're right um, by Staples. Best nice. City Nails. Yeah. It's cool. a great, great location. Get some school supplies, get some tutoring. That's right. Uh, transforming kids' lives for over 15 years now, building confidence, providing them with new problem-solving and critical thinking principles that they can use in the classroom and outside of the classroom. You can schedule your free visit, learn more about the program, read up on Q and our staff, all at mathnasium.com slash Q, Kendall, thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.